On February 27th, Council Member Costa Costaninidis hosted a meet and greet event with his staff and constituents at his new district office in Astoria. Calling his new district office the House of the People, Costaninidis spent ample time meeting and greeting a full house of guests, among them several community leaders and local elected officials. Among the elected officials in attendance was State Senator Michael Gennaris, a close friend and colleague of Council Member Costaninidis. Mike, um, you're here at the um, opening of the uh, office of uh, council member um, Constantinidis, and you know I, I have to uh, <laughs> uh, have you on the show uh, because it's the beginning of the year, and I, I'm sure there's a lot for you to uh, share with us as far as uh, looking forward. Forward. Yeah, of course, and this is a wonderful day to be here. Uh, this is the culmination of all the effort that uh, Costa made last year and all his supporters to elect the first Cypriot American uh, to the office in New York. It's a, it's a great day and it's convenient because my office is next door, uh, Aravella Simoda's office is next door and Congressman Maloney's office is next door. So we're all close together. People can come uh, visit all of us with their concerns uh, all in one, uh, one stop as they say. It's funny, we used to be all together in the Dittmars area and Peter Vallone was just across the street and now we're all here next to each other. So we always have had a great team of public officials working for Astoria and um, we're going to continue that with Costa now so it's, uh, it's an exciting day to be here. So what can you share with us as far as Albany is concerned? Uh, are you working on the budget or did you finish working on it? No, it's not uh, going to finish till the end of March so we have one more month to go. Um, it's always difficult to make decisions uh, that are important like that. We try and make sure our education system is funded, our health care system is funded, well, while at the same time not raising taxes on anyone. So that's always the challenge. Uh, we're going to roll up our sleeves and, uh, and work together and get it done this year. So uh, any, any bills that you're uh, working on, anything that you would like to share with us as far as uh, the new year? Yeah, this year I'm focusing very hard on uh, safety for pedestrians, for people as they walk the streets. There's uh, hundreds of people die every year because of reckless drivers who hit uh, pedestrians. We had a number of tragedies right here in, in our neighborhoods. In Woodside, a seven-year-old boy was run over by a truck on his way to school. Um, in uh, Maspeth, there was a, an elderly woman who was going to her senior center to play bingo and was hit by a car. In both of those instances, the drivers had suspended licenses. And unfortunately, the law doesn't punish people who shouldn't be driving when they hurt somebody. It's only a misdemeanor, which means they get usually no jail time and just a slap on the wrist. So I'm proposing that we make that a more severe penalty for, uh, uh, for that crime and that they be sentenced to jail uh, like a felony would uh, charge them with. So that's, I'm going to be focusing very hard on that. Mayor de Blasio just included my bill in his recommendations uh, last week, so we're making progress on it. It's part of what he calls the Vision Zero uh, agenda, which is uh, zero deaths from pedestrians uh, on our streets, and hopefully we'll be able to get there. Now, a couple, uh, was it last month that we covered another rally that you participated on uh, 21st Street? Uh, you were trying to get a, a traffic light uh, on the corner of, I believe, uh, is 31st Avenue and 21st Street. Uh, what's the outcome on that? We're still waiting for the Department of Transportation to evaluate that corner, but uh, Costa has taken the lead on that. He's done great work already just in his first two months. We're hopeful that, uh, that we'll be able to... Uh, to get progress there as well, but that's all part of the same program. Crack down on drivers who shouldn't be driving and kill people uh, or injure them. Make sure that the streets are safe for more lights where we need them, um, more traffic bumps and safety bumps when we need them, uh, and hopefully we'll make things a lot safer for everyone. Now, as far as um, keeping uh, New York uh, State clean and pothole free, is there anything that can be done on the state level? Well, always. Much of the city's funding comes from the state. Um, and so when they um, are working on uh, increasing the street cleanings or filling the potholes faster, it's a city uh, uh, issue and a city administrative issue, but oftentimes the state can help provide the resources they need to do it. So uh, I'm looking forward to partnering with Costa while he's working on that project uh, and seeing what we can do to make the streets cleaner because we also talk with um, the Department of Sanitation and Aravella Simonas and I have written a letter to the commissioner there to try and increase the cleanings because the garbage uh, uh, hands are overflowing on our corners and we're trying to make sure that that uh, is addressed so that uh, we don't have uh, uh, the streets be as dirty as we see with garbage like rolling down the street literally.
Well, March 25th is uh, almost around the corner. Are you getting ready for our big celebration on March 30th uh, for our annual Greek parade? Of course. Uh, every year I look forward to it. And we just uh, finished organizing the annual event we do here in Queens with the Queensborough president. We have a new borough president now who's going to be co-sponsoring the event with uh, Aravella and myself, and now Costa as well. So we'll have the whole team of, of Greek Americans with our borough president together on March 14th. Uh, at the Hellenic Federation. Uh, we're usually at the Cultural Center, but this year we had to move because they had another program there. So we'll be at the Federation this year uh, and look forward to a great program. I'll with see some, you then. With some wonderful honorees. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Costa, you are the man of the day today. Uh, you just uh, uh, opened your office officially here in Astoria. How does it feel to be surrounded with so many friends and constituents? It's very exciting. You know, this, is, uh, this is really the people's house, so I'm excited to open it up to the people. Uh, I'm hoping that they uh, have the opportunity to get to know my staff better and get to know me a little bit better, and I look forward to serving them and you know, fighting for them in City Hall. I missed your speech, it was too crowded, I couldn't get in, so uh, uh, what was the message that you gave out today? Well, really that this is the people's house and that we're going to be here to meet their needs. Uh, we're, gonna, we're prepared to work hard every single day, um, from the minute we wake up to the minute we go to sleep to fight for this neighborhood. And some of the in initiatives we've been working on, uh, we've been working on coach drives with our, our Summit woman Aravella Simotis and the Summit woman Gennaris, uh, Council, uh, Senator Gennaris, sorry. Uh, uh, Senator Gina was on, on a coat drive to collect over 100 coats uh, for those that need it in, uh, in this, during this brutal winter. Uh, I've been working with my, my colleagues in government to make 21st Street more safe. Um, and, you know, making, making sure that getting uh, across 21st Street, as we talked before on, on, on your show. Yes, I wanted to ask you, what's the outcome of that effort uh, to get that light, traffic light? Well, we're still, we're still doing it. And I, I spoke with the DOT commissioner. She was here in my office last week. Uh, uh, we, I explained to her my uh, deep concerns over what's going on on 21st Street and the need to get this done and done quickly. And we're actually going to be holding a pedestrian town hall on March 19th to address this, that issue and many more. Um, to make sure that everyone in the neighborhood, uh, wherever they are, whether it's 21st Street or 74th Street, feel safe. I, I know uh, it's still early in the year, but um, uh, what committees are you planning to um, participate in the City Hall, or did, well, have you been appointed to any uh, yet? Yes, actually, I, I was uh, appointed as chair of, on the subcommittee on libraries. I also sit on contracts, civil service and labor, uh, uh, investigations and uh, oversight. Uh, sanitation, transportation, and environmental protection, and cultural affairs. So I have a robust city hall schedule. Uh, I sit on eight committees total. And uh, what, what bills are you going to be? Uh, are you planning to work on this year? Well, I introduced uh, three bills yesterday. My first three bills. Uh, one that would require that uh, a pothole from the time it's called in to 311 be repaired within five days. Because uh, I feel that's, I feel that's a, a good government bill. Uh, the, Bloomer, the de Blasio administration has been doing a great job so far under the circumstances, but good work should be codified in, in the city code. Uh, so I feel that's important. Also, our streets, keeping them clean. So clean, picking up the corner garbage cans every day, uh, without exception, except for days that have been suspended. So we, we don't have our streets covered, strewn with garbage. Uh, and also, uh, I, what I feel is an important bill uh, environmentally is expanding the use of biodiesel in our, in our city that would take the bio blend up from to 5% in our ferries with an eye to 2020 to have it 20 percent uh, as we you know, get in alternative energy into our city stock but also create good jobs here because those, those those that biofuel will be made right here in New York City with good green jobs anything else you would like to share with us well we're actually going to be uh, co-sponsoring with uh, Assemblyman Samotas and uh, Senator Jean Harris and uh, uh, Borough President Katz I'm sure the senator brought this up the uh, Greek Independence Day celebration we're also going to be holding one of our own in City Hall on March 25th and we'll be honoring a bunch of uh, leaders and bring it back to the People's House at City Hall for the first time in four years. Uh, so we're excited about that. And of course, as I mentioned before, our pedestrian town hall that we're holding on March 19th with Congressman Crowley and all of our uh, elected officials here in Astoria. So we have a, a, pretty, a lot of exciting things to get done uh, in the near future. And of course, we'll see you on March 14th and then again March 30th uh, when we will all march on the Greek Parade. Well, definitely. I look forward to it. And I hope you can come to an event also on March 25th. So uh, look, I'll do my best. Look forward to seeing you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Elena.